Now you may have seen this shot in various product animations out there and trust me I use this effect in every product animation I make actually use it a lot Okay so let's start by adding a 3D model in the scene for this tutorial I am going to use a AirPod 3D model which I found on Blender kit after that go to world settings and make sure the color is completely black and set the strength to 0 so as you can see there is no light in the scene okay so now we are going to add lights into our scene press shift a and in the light section add an area light over here rotate it on the x axis go to the top view rotate it on the z axis until you see the light forming an edge around the product this already looks good but we want this light only on the right side now the shape is square so it is all press s x to scale the light now it will only illuminate the product from the right side to make this look even more dramatic what we can do is change the color of the light click on the color I will make the lights blue once you do that press shift D to duplicate the light then press X to move it on the X axis go to the top view press RZ so now you can see the light is illuminating the product from the left side as well so the normal way to animate this lights would be select the light move it on the Z axis Move the lights away until the scene is completely dark and then add a keyframe by going into object properties and then set a keyframe in the location part on the z-axis. Go to frame 60, move it down and then set a keyframe again. So now you can see the light is being animated and we get this effect. But instead of this what I usually do is let's select all the keyframes and delete it in my method what I like to do is use constraints I'm going to click on my left light over here then go into object constraint properties then click on copy location and set the target to the right light after adding the constraint the location of the light would change so to fix that select invert for the x axis also make sure to tick the offset checkbox go to the front view move it on the x so basically by adding a constraint to this light all i did was create a rig over here so you don't have to manually add keyframes to this light so if you move the right light up in the z axis the left light would go the opposite direction as you can see the left light goes in the opposite direction and that's what we want for this effect to work move the light far away until it's completely dark in the scene go to the object properties of the right light you only have to move the right light for this effect the left light would copy the location and move in the opposite direction because we have used invert in the object constraints so click on the right light go to the location and z axis and add a keyframe on frame number one go to frame 60 press g and Z it down until it's completely dark in the scene and then add a keyframe on frame 60 now as you can see the problem over here is the light moves really fast over here so you can't even see the light passing by to fix that click on the right light go to the graph editor over here click on Z location press A to select all the keyframes and then press home which will bring up all your keyframes go over here in the pivot point section click on individual centers so as you can see the light is moving too fast over here you can't even see what's happening it's like one frame so to fix this we will move to the frame where the light appears over here on the 11th frame and then go to the Z location and add a keyframe you can see this keyframe over here press R to rotate and then S to scale so this slow downs the light between these frames and now if we hit play this is much better than what we had before you can fine tune it according to your liking I also changed the frame length from 60 to 30 because 1 second seemed enough now this looks pretty great in itself but to add a little bit of spice to it I would suggest go to the compositing section press shift A click on search and then search for glare 
and then just drop it between this but instead of strix set it to fog glow and set the size to 6 it adds a little bit of glow where the light is illuminating the product now to make an animation out of this go to render settings set your resolution and for frame rate i'm going to go for 30 fps so it would be one second of animation and then the start and end of the frame according to your timeline now for the output select the folder and give it the location i'm going to use this frames folder and then click on accept after that for the file format i'm going to use png these are the settings before we render go to the render properties make sure motion blur is turned on and the color management the display device is set to srgb view transform is to filmic and the look is to high contrast i'm going to render this at 40 samples you can increase the sample count if you want then go to render and then hit render animation this will take time depending upon your system and once it does render you have a png image sequence which you can import into any of your favorite editor now instead of the airpod case we can also use the airpods itself i already have this airpods model downloaded from blender kit and as you can see this also looks great i am going to render this out too so after rendering you would get this png image sequence in order to convert that into a video we would need an editor and i am going to use davinci resolve for this it's also completely free to use after you open davinci resolve and create a new project make sure to go to the settings and change the frame rate to 30 fps since that was the frame rate for our project settings in blender click on save and then locate the folder where you have rendered out your png image sequence and as you can see it will show you all this png individually but that's not what we want we want it in an image sequence so to fix that click over here on the three dot option go to frame display mode and then click on sequence and now it is in a sequence format drag and drop it into your media pool i'm also going to get the airpods sequence we rendered out and then now go to the editing tab select them both and then drag them into timeline now this part over here seems quite unnecessary so i'm going to trim it click on the clip press ctrl b then click on this clip and then press backspace and now if we see this video we also have this transition now now if i combine both of these clips together in a single video you can see it forms a great transition from the case to the airpods go to the end of the clip press o to set your out point now to export this video click on the deliver tab choose your location give it a name for the format click on mp4 check the frame rate that it is 30 and for the quality i am going to set it to 60000 kbps and for keyframes i am going to render it at every one frame after all this click on add to render queue and then hit render all this is our final result and if you do use this effect in your product animation make sure to tag me at made by omkar on instagram thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe see you in the next video